Hello, so we are back. But this time, let's speak about BIOS programming or memory programming, okay? We have here the most popular programmer is CH341. And uh, you'll not believe it, but this is the most loved and hate on the same time programmer. Yeah. Uh, I have two here. I bought one from eBay. It's cheap, very cheap. Comes with adapters. It's like seven pounds on eBay. And then I realize I need the one point volts interface uh, in order to program 1.8 volts uh, or low power uh, memory chips. So I bought one from Amazon for like 15 or 16 pounds. Okay. Now, what's the problem with this one? Actually, it's no problem, but in the last video with the Asus laptop, you remember we programmed the I.O. chip and we said we have to program the BIOS. And uh, like half, I believe half of the, from the people from the chat, they told me, sorry, this, this, this comes with a problem and you have to modify it. Now, <clears throat> uh what can i say you know it's about this programmer problem actually it's no problem with the programmer it's problem with the people <laughs> uh, and indeed you can't see the links but i have so many so many of you guys leave me links and uh, from forums from websites from blogs yeah with the modification of this program, but I, I, I couldn't believe it. So I start doing some research, and it's 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 unbelievable. You know how many the people are not even testing this programmer. You understand? So they are buying it and they are modifying the programmer. Now the first question: What you have to ask yourself is: Do you think a manufacturer it will sell you a faulty device or a device which can burn your memory? <laughs> I don't think so, but. The story goes over the internet, and if you check YouTube, the YouTube is full of videos modifying this device. Insane, insane, and the device has no issue. You understand? That's the problem. So uh, if you check, if you check on Amazon, the one that I buy from Amazon, yeah, this one. Uh, I'll leave you a link in the description. Uh, <clears throat> if you are looking, I, I, I recommend this because this comes with a eight point uh, one point eight volts. Uh, programmer anyway i feel bad for this seller yeah so if you check the, the the reviews you see people saying you have to modify and you have to change from 5 volts to 3.3 and uh, videos how to modify this device from 5 volts to 3.3 then you have uh, people with bad reviews doesn't work at 3.3 volts yeah and uh, so on now i don't know what to say about this you know it's 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 unbelievable and I'm not, the unbelievable part is people buying this and they didn't they don't test it they just modify straight away now let's check to see the issue with this device let's plug the usb the issue i actually is no issue <laughs> people believing i did here it's an issue so uh, if you think the power line is on um, it's on the uh, five volts, you're wrong. Actually, the VCC is three point three. Now let's get the multimeter, yeah, because here is here is here is the uh, where the people got it wrong, yeah. So you have ground, and you have uh, the twenty four C and the five twenty five, yeah. So this one. You have pin the pin number one, pin number eight. Okay, pin number eight is three point two. Check on the screen, you can see three point two volts. Now pin number one, four point eight. Pin number two, four point eight. Then pin number three, three point two. Pin number four is ground. Pin number five, four point eight. Pin number six, four point eight. Seven, three point two. And obviously the VCC is 3.2. And from, the, from here start the, the whole uh, story with this, yeah? From this 4.8 volts. Now, you know, I, have, I haven't seen, like, I, I haven't seen a video or read something about someone checking, actually, what is this 4.8 volts. 
Yeah, it's a data line, okay, we got that. But what current do we have there? And when I'm asking about the current, it's because voltage cannot burn anything, like, like nothing. You cannot burn something with voltage. You need current, okay? So let's switch the multimeter to current, and actually check, check what current do we have there. Uh, I will go to 200 milliamp scale, yeah. Ground, and let's check. Pin number one was 4.8, you remember? Pin number one. And they have 0 0.7 milliamps. Doesn't mean not even one milliamp. We have microamps, yeah? Not even one milliamp. Then here we have 0, 0.0, yeah? Then the pin number five, 0, 0.0. And pin number six, 0, 0.0. Okay? So you don't even have a milliamp there. How you can burn something with without no current? Now check the power supply. See the power supply? I'll switch the current up. Now when I short those two, yeah, just just a short review, just a short going over the ohm law because here is the point that people got confused. If you short this, uh, nothing happened because this is the multimeter. Sorry, yeah, that's the power supply. Yeah, shorting the wires of a power supply, and the voltage goes to zero. No, it's not going to zero because I have short circuit protection. Actually, I don't. And the current is 5 amps because that's what the power supply can supply. So actually, the wires are getting hot. Yeah? But the voltage dropped to zero. You understand? That's the home law. So uh, when you don't have enough current, like here, uh, short this, I don't have more than 5 amps, the voltage, it will drop. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the thing with this programmer. Now, Let's do a simple test. I mean, you, you can't, you can't, you can't burn a memory chip. Let's be serious. With under one milliamp. Under one milliamp. So I have a motherboard here. Let's see how we can program a memory chip quickly. Uh, I'll put this here. And I will take this, I will open the program. The program is open. Let me switch to desktop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you can't see the... Mm. Okay. So what you have, what all you have to do is to put a clamp on the chip. Yeah, you see we have a BIOS chip here. You put a clamp there. And now, to check the communication, that's the first step. To check the communication is to take the chip. Yeah, this one. And the chip is not detected. So you have to refit the connector just to be sure, uh, you know, it's properly on place. Then you have to try again, detect the chip. And still not working, okay. Yeah, it's okay. You know, if you think you, you have no communication, maybe it's a good idea to just clean the chip or something like that. Detect the chip, still nothing, okay. Uh, no, I'm, I'm on the right. Uh, detect the chip, and still nothing. Okay, let's try one more time. Yeah, it's working. You can see? So the chip got detected. And you can see the signature and uh, the programming tool set up in self. Um, uh, it will detect, auto detect the chip. So let's perform a simple operation like read the chip. Okay, read the chip. And meanwhile, let's check. Let's check the voltage on the pins. Just to, just to understand what's going on there. So you remember pin number one. Three point five, yeah. Pin number two. We have three point four. Pin number five. We have three point four, and pin number six. We have three point four. So you understand is soon as the chip is start uh, communicating, the voltage will drop. And uh, if you check the data sheet of uh, a chip like this, 
you will see actually the pins can go up to four point something volts. There is no issue. There is no problem. You cannot burn something without current. Okay. So let's see. Let's wait uh, for the reading process to end. Okay, so we read the BIOSHIP. What you can do, just to be sure, uh, you can go here and uh, you have verified chip data against buffer. You can run this just to be sure uh, it, it was read properly. Then you have to erase the chip, and this is a must, yeah? This is, this is very important. Yeah? Erase the chip. You start the erasing program. And you have to wait for the chip to get erased. Yeah, so the chip is empty now. And now we can reload. Uh, we can uh, write the chip. So let's open. Open the file. Let's open a bin. Okay. Then you have to press the right, right chip. Uh, and I think, yeah, this is the, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Let's write something else. Open file, let's write a little bit only. Chip, right. Okay, so you have to select, obviously, the right version. And close, and then you have to verify, yeah, verify the data. And the data is the same like the buffer, so we write something on this chip. I'm just trying to give you an example how, uh, how the programmer works. Now you can uh, program, uh, you can, if you have some errors, and you can have some errors if this chip is has a, a circuit here which it will protect uh, against writing on that point we have to desolder the chip and uh, try to program uh, outside yeah you can put it on clubs even outside okay so i did play a little bit with this programmer it's fantastic even with this one this one is working great so i was able to program a 1.8 volt uh, uh, memory okay just a short video because I want just to clear this with the modifying the program. <laughs> you know, it, there is no current. So even if it's voltage, there's no current. You can't burn anything without current. You have under 1 milliamp. Okay? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And tomorrow is Christmas. Have a happy Christmas and uh, nice holidays. Bye.